So today's video, we are going to be recapping how I got on on my first week of 75 Soft. If you don't know what 75 Soft is, it's a softer version of 75 Hard. For me, I'll be following a calorie deficit to work out five days a week, reading or journaling once a day, drinking two litres of water, no drink at alcohol. I think that's everything. So I'm going to show you how my week went and then we're going to discuss weighing results at the end of the video. So let's get into it. So day one, I started by weighing myself and taking my first lot of progress pictures, which was pretty difficult to do. Um, and then it was raining. The weather was awful. Done, I've just done breakfast. It doesn't look that appealing um, because I've just had a pre assessment for Harper's operation and because she's got a bad chest again, they might have to delay it again. It's been a whole thing. So this is combat. So we've got scrambled egg, ham, mushrooms, an egg so i'll pop the calories and protein on the screen and oh and sweet chili sauce because i just eat sweet chili sauce with everything apparently now um yeah so i'm gonna eat this now okay so this is lunch and i'm not gonna lie it was <laughs> exhausting measuring and counting every calorie for this but we have uh it's a little bit like a plumber so we've got this sourdough bread so this is a cheese sourdough bread oh my god it's delicious it is this one here from asda um some ham some salad coleslaw pickle so here's the cake that i made today so pretty good for calories and protein wise Okay, so just making myself a snack now. I had that cake earlier. I didn't film it because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Um, but it was delicious. So next time I will do it again, either at the end of this week or next week. So I will definitely film it. So, oh, great. Um, just weighing out a little bit of watermelon. It's only a tiny bit which we've got left over because the kids have the other one. So 40 grams of watermelon. And I'm actually going to add this um, because I'm going to prefer this flavour rather than the vanilla one. Um, so it's the cherry one. And I'm probably going to have about 100 grams of this. I'm not enjoying weighing everything. I hate counting calories. Um, I can't even remember how much watermelon I said. I just said, oh, 40 grams, wasn't it? 12 calories. Um, and then, so that's less than 100 calories for that snack. And I've got 848 calories left. And I'm on 64.1 grams of protein so far. And I've had 3.3 um, of my fruit and veg today. Um, so yeah, I'm not enjoying counting calories at the minute. I'm hoping, because I'm only on day two, I'm hoping I'm going to start to get used to it a little bit more. Because I feel like it, at the minute it feels so time consuming. For dinner, I had these chicken skewers, rice and sweet corn pretty basic but really delicious good morning good morning day three now it's not actually first thing in the morning you would think by my parents that it is but it's not i've done a school run um i went on a 45 minute power walk and i'm back home now and um half was poorly in the night so i'm back in back in my coat it says because i'm tired um usually i would use that as kind of like just to go off track i'm too tired um but i'm not so i didn't film breakfast this morning i had cheerios and i had a hash brown from the co-op the ones which are like on the go because i've had the other two so i put the calories and things on the screen and now i'm going to have a coffee i've been drinking my juice as well i'm feeling really positive um last time i did something similar to this i overcomplicated trying to work out and things and it exhausted me but I'm just going with the flow, doing what I can do. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling really, really good for it. If I had more sleep, I'd feel even better. Um, but that's where caffeine comes in, doesn't it? Right, gammon in this morning. So here I've got my lunch for the day, a little snack when the sunshine decided to show. And then this is tea. This was, this was a 10 out of 10 and really high in protein. So I started my first morning jog, which I really enjoyed. But as you can see, I was absolutely exhausted. So, I've just got back from doing the school drop off. And first time ever, I got really emotional when I dropped Henry off at school today. I'd never seen him. Sometimes he gets upset about going to school, but I'd never seen him in this sort of state about going to school. And usually by the time we actually get there, he's calmed down, he's fine. Today, he was 
screaming in hysterics, holding on to me. I didn't want to go. And yeah, it was emotional today. I'm hoping he's going to get settled and he's going to be fine. But yeah, been an emotional morning. But um, I'm back now and I'm going to make some breakfast, I think. And I think another coffee. So the protein cake I made the other day went down a treat, but it's all gone now. So let's make another one. <laughs> So it's going to be very similar to the last one, but um, we are going to have a banana in this one just to add the extra bit of sweetness. And I've got I need to measure. I need to measure. I need to measure. Right, zero. Right, so we're going to start off with banana. We have. 92 grams of banana. Realised I wasn't recording, so I've got, thank you baby, I've got one banana which I've measured, which was 92 grams, 60 grams of oats. And we're gonna go for, I think we're gonna make a bigger portion this time. We've got 30 grams of self-raising flour. Then we're gonna go for one teaspoon of baking powder, tea powder. is 15 grams so we've added two eggs and 100 grams of the skia vanilla yogurt um oh and we need chocolate chips let's not forget the best bit chocolate chips so we're gonna go for 20 grams there okay so i'm back um, we did actually nip to the Horsey Cafe. It's obviously not called Horsey Cafe, but they've got, is it called Aquarium? Something like that. They have like a, they have like a window where you sit and like the horses are jumping and stuff. Anyway, so we took Henry there because it's his favourite place to go. And after his rough morning at play school, uh, we went there. Um, he has something to eat. I had a couple of slices of toast, which I gave one to Harper with butter. So I need to work that out. But the bread was like, do you know your standard sort of Warburton's medium, which is quite thin? It was that. Um, I have had a slice of my cake. I'm going to show you briefly how it turned out. This is a 10 out of 10. When I tell you, this is probably the least bit wet. Out of all my cake recipes, I think this one is my favourite. Now, I made one the other day, which was nice, but I think it had one too many, too much protein powder. So it had the artificial protein powder taste, you know what I mean? This just had just the right amount of protein powder. Adding the banana is a game changer. This is kind of what I didn't like about Summer World with the whole mashed banana situation. Adding a mashed banana, adds that natural sweetness and you do not need any sugar in it um we'll see we've got a bit of chocolate chips we've got sugar in but that's just an extra treat in there you could do it without the chocolate chips to be honest but i just like to have that little chocolate hint in there as well so um yeah that's what we've had so far today So I've got, I've got my dressing gown here because I am a little bit chilly. Um, so let's have a recap of the week. So I have coloured my hair. Again, I'm going through a little bit of the midlife crisis when it comes to my hair. Um, so yeah, how's, how's this week gone? I think I filmed about four days worth of food. I had one day off plan this week. And if you can hear something in the background, as soon as I've come in here, hot, um, Molly has decided to eat her dinner. So if you hear chomping in the background, it's her. Um, so this week, let's have a recap how how I got on. So food wise, I had one day off plan. It has been a little bit difficult because Dan's gone on a stag do this sort of weekend week, long weekend for around about four days. So it's just been me and the kids. Um, it's just been really, yeah, it's been a bit challenging. Um, so I did have one day off plan where we had a takeaway and we just had snacks and things. Um, Workout wise, um, again, because I hadn't, because he's gone away, I haven't been able to get up early in the morning to do my jog. So I think I managed to do two of them, which I actually really, really loved. Um, and I, f I felt so much better for doing them. Um, and having problems with my knees and things. And when I would first start off, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. But as soon as I got into it, I just felt like my knee felt better. 
and the day I was off plan, my knee started hurting me again because I was just eating so much rubbish and I wasn't exercising. Um, so I did two runs and I worked out one day and it went for like a 40 minute walk the other day. So I'm not perfect, but I got as much done as possible and that's that's kind of what matters. Um, reading, journaling, gone out the window. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Yeah, I've just not had time for that, quite literally. I've not had time for that. Um, so yeah, maybe scrap that going forward. Um, it's not something I usually do. It's not something I necessarily need in my routine either. Water, drinking two liters of water. Well, I've been drinking juice. I would say 80% of the time I've stuck to that. The days I have stuck to it, I felt so much better. But the problem I get is I, I wheeze so much so the night I have to get up like four times because I've drank so much. But I have felt better when I've been doing that. Um, so overall, it's been a good week. It could have been better, but I'm hoping once Dan's back, we can get on track. Um, I'm just like looking at myself now. I've got a real complex of how I'm looking at the minute. Like here, like I can see my double chin and I don't want to come on here and be really negative, but I feel so rubbish in myself. I just don't feel attractive. I feel, I shouldn't say this either, but I feel like overweight. I don't feel nice in my clothes. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling great about myself and I really need to, I need to do this. And I don't know why I always find it so difficult to stick to weight loss plans. <laughs> Hence why, obviously, I've put so much weight on. Um, yeah, but I'm ho I'm hoping it's going to get easier. I've obviously had the like transition of switching from Slimming World to Calorie County. So truthfully, it has actually been harder. Um, just because I've obviously had to weigh and count everything. So it has been more difficult counting calories. But... Um, it has been nice having the flexibility so i've been able to have like a nice bread i've been able to have like porridge or cereals and then have like bread a little bit later on and like going out places it's, it's been a little bit more flexible for that as well um but i just think like for next week i need to be more mindful of what i'm eating um i need to eat like incorporate more fruit veg and things like that because obviously when you're on slimming world you automatically do that because that's your free food and that is the good thing about slimming world to be honest um so yeah it's difficult i am missing it a little bit i'm <laughs> not gonna lie um but yeah i'm not switching back <laughs> we're sticking with this um so yeah that, that's how that's how my week has gone so let's talk about weigh-in results um so this week's weigh-in results so i did have one day off plan this week um and we had a takeaway and lots and lots of snacks and things like that so um th we're gonna take that into consideration this week i don't want that to be a weekly thing because when you obviously are counting calories it's worked out of like this is your weekly calories and if i'm having those snacks and those takeaways i'm not actually going to be in a calorie deficit um so i'd add you to kind of keep that in my mind really um so saying that I did lose one and a half pounds this week so i am i'm happy with that i would have liked a bigger loss i'm not gonna lie because i just i kind of i've got a wedding in june i kind of want to get this weight off because i feel really uncomfortable in my body um but it's a loss and i know why it's not a bigger loss because i had a takeaway um but also saying that i'm not restricting myself too much i'm on between 1700 and 1900 calories uh 1900 is my max some days i'll have 1700 because it means that i can save those other calories to the, for the weekend um and then like then i will be still in a calorie deficit if i if like i go over by 200 calories because it, it's kind of based on your weekly calories and not your daily calories um so that's what i've been doing some days um but yeah i'm happy i'm happy with how it's going i want to definitely keep the jogging up because i like it because it's done in the morning and i'm like i haven't got to worry about working out or anything for the rest of the day because it's done i feel better i have my shower i get up i get ready i just feel like more ready for the day when i do it um i'm not the fastest like and yeah but i'm hoping that that will improve as 
as we go along. So one and a half pound off this week. Now going into next week, I'm not sure whether I'll do more daily vlogs or do the weekly vlogs. But anyway, that's how we got on this week. If you want to see what we're eating next week, how we got on next week, then hit that subscribe button. I hope you're doing really, really well and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.